What is going on, chili heads, and welcome back to Florida Heat. Haven't been on since Friday. I think it was my last video. Um, you know, life happens. Just was busy this weekend. Really, just didn't. I just wasn't up for getting on and making videos when I got off of work and stuff. And I just, I was busy. I got off of work and had other stuff going on too. Um, you know, and uh, I'm not gonna apologize for it. And I don't mean that. Um, I don't mean that in like a in a rude way. Um. I just mean that, and because I want, I want people to. I, I've noticed there's people on here, um, and just not people I I follow, just people that, you know, they apologize for not getting on, um, uh, for a week or so, or not making a video in two days, and or they get on and they say, oh, I really didn't feel like getting on and making a video tonight, but I feel like I owed it to you guys. Um, here's here's what one thing I can uh, give some advice on on that is. You know, don't ever apologize because you can't get on and make a video. Um, you know, and don't ever feel like you need to get on like, you know, people are going to run away. You know, and you know what? If they And if they do unsubscribe because you didn't make a video for one day or weren't on the whole weekend or weren't on for three days, oh, well, then they weren't, you know, meant to be there anyway. Um, because life happens, guys. We all have lives outside. YouTube isn't our life. We all have lives outside of YouTube and uh, our YouTube channel. Um, you know... If, you know, I'm off for three days and I don't come and I don't get on YouTube and I lose two or three subscribers because of it or I lose half of y'all because of it, not saying I would, I, I, then it is what it is. I'm not, I really have gotten to the point, I and I've said this before, I don't care how many more su subscribers I get. I'm okay if I stay at 30 or 31, wherever I'm at. Um, you know, like I said, I don't look at, at, at it as subscribers. You know, y'all are friends. Uh, you know, we all talk to each other throughout the day. We actually care about what, you know, how each other are doing, um, whether we know exactly what's going on in each other's lives or not. Some of us are open about our lives. Some of us aren't. And that's, you know, completely okay. Everybody's different. Um, but uh, I'm not, and, and, you know, I'm not even doing anything spicy, at least right now. I'm just getting on. I got my little bit of tincture in my morning coffee. That's it. Um, because... And I want to reference, um, you know, because this is kind of a shout out, but a more or less just a reference. Um, I want to reference, um, you know, I, uh, Tony Reeves was the first one and then Thomas Elwood followed him up. And I'll let you guys go watch their videos. Watch Tony Reeves first and then T uh, Thomas Elwood kind of followed it up. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, what, what their video was, was Tony Reeves' video was titled... Say what you want, I believe, or something like that. And um, I, I can't remember exactly what the title was. But he, what he had to say, he really nailed it on the head. And it really opened my eyes to, um, you know, you guys already, I'm I'm me on here. I don't put on a act. I'm not, you know, this is me, you know, just plain old Joe. You know, I'm not, you know, I don't have a character when I get on here. And not, I'm not saying... Uh, that anyone else, if you do, it's a bad thing, but I just don't, I choose not to play a character, um, and I don't necessarily mean, and, and as people like Tony Reese when he gets on and plays his characters like Jathid, or I forget what her name is when he plays her, or, or whatever, I'm not, I don't mean in that way, I mean like, there's people who have a character, they play a character as their YouTube channel, you know, they're, they're, they're not who they are in their real life, you know, they play a, I don't ever want to be that, I just want to be me, and, and you guys all like me for me, so, you know, my thing is, um, what it opened my eyes more is to be me, uh, more of me instead of, you know, you know, I'm, I'll be a little bit more open about, uh, maybe not a little bit more open about what goes on and on in my life, but just about me. And, uh, you know, one of the things I think their main topic was about people who are family friend, you know, family friendly channels and not cursing and this and that, because, you know, and, Again, I don't want to. I want you guys to go watch the videos if you haven't yet, because it re they really nailed some good points and it opened my eyes. And you know, like Thomas Elwood said, I'm not trying to be a copycat. It's just it really, you know, opened my it just opened my eyes to be more of a, um, you know, it is what it is. Like if I'm not, am I gonna curse every three words out of my mouth? Gonna be a curse? Be the f word? No, um, but. If it slips, it slips, or if I just say it, I say it, I'm not going to go back and edit the video, you know, because the, uh, uh, there's a couple times, like, I had a video going, and I don't, I can't edit, I don't have the equipment to edit, I just, it's just me and my phone, um, and, 
you know, I got about 10 minutes in or six minutes or so into the video and I cursed. I said, shit, you know, it's like, and I stopped the video because I'm just so stuck on trying to be family friendly. But I, I got to the point and I think, you know, I was so worried about being family friendly because I thought, oh my God, you know, people, people I'll get unsubscribed, people will unsubscribe to me. And, you know, at that point, I, and, you know, am I worried about it? No, because I, I mean... I'm not going to, I don't want to be that guy that puts on a front just to keep people watching my channel. I, I don't, I just don't care. You know, I don't, you know, I don't think I'll ever get to a hundred, a hundred thousand subscribers or, you know, if I get to even a hundred, I, I, I don't care. It's just cool hanging out with y'all. I never even thought I'd get anywhere to like 20, you know, I, I, I don't know how this stuff works. I don't know how to be a YouTuber. Um, and I'm talking a little bit more on this topic than I wanted to. Um, cause I was going to do some shout outs, but I'm going to do some shout outs this week. Um, but speaking of Thomas Elwa Bailey, he's close to, I think I actually looked last night. I think he was like nine away from a hundred. So he's, I think he'll be there this week for sure. Uh, um, so excuse me. Um, and I think that's cool as heck. If anybody on, if anybody on YouTube deserves more subscribers than anyone, it's Thomas Elwa, just his because I love his style. I love his straight and to the point style. Um, you know, is it? I, I'm one of those people. Sometimes you can lose my attention after three or four minutes. If you know, sometimes. Um, so his short and to the point videos, you know, they're just easy to watch. Uh, his reviews are straight and to the point, and he's not always doing spicy stuff. You know, he just gets on and says good morning, or gets on and says good Friday. You know, just to see how everyone's doing. He's 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 in everyone's comment feeds. He's he's the supporter of everyone. Like uh, well, like Johnny pa Small Pepper said, Mitch on Johnny pa Small Pepper channel, um, he said that he's a brick and mortar of the pepper community of the chili head community. It, it's he really is. Um, so he deserves more. So you know, I, I, like I said, I could care less. I don't I don't care if I stay at thirty some subscribers. You know. But I, I'd like to see Thomas Elwood. He's going to get that 100 and, hey, you know, get him to 200, 300, 400, you know, and just because, you know, more people need to be watching his channel and show him some love. But, uh, so yeah, check out, check out Tony Reeves and, uh, John, um, uh, Thomas Elwood Bailey. Uh, check out their channels and what they had to say because it just, um, it really, they really nailed it on the head, and it just might be an eye opener for people who, uh, people who may feel like they need to be more of themselves, um, you know. But uh, and then uh, oh, where else was I going here? So I got I got to start writing topics down because oh okay so a little bit of my agenda today so it's tincture tuesday so obviously tonight about seven o'clock i'll be getting on you know uh hopefully hopefully y'all be there too uh the normals will be there uh for tincture tuesday tonight the zoo meeting it was cool uh last weekend was cool there wasn't many people there Ta tommy scoville was there that was awesome to do it I've, I've never been in a tincture tuesday with him um but my agenda for today i'm going to get a haircut at 11 and after that i'm riding down to the sponge docks in Tarpon Springs. Um, I'm going. I was gonna try and I want to try and see if I can clear up more of my data data on here. Um, I want to see if maybe I can try and do a do a live video um, and walk up and down the sponge docks. It's not a. Uh, it's it's really it's a tour. I mean it's a tourist trap in my eyes. I don't go all the time, but I like going down there every once in a while. There's some cool stores there. Like I said, they got the hot sauce store, the beef jerky store. They got some Reaper. So I'm going to go pick up a, a couple things, you know, and the review on my, vi on my videos. And, uh, you know, I'm going to at least do a video as I'm walking down the sponge docks, uh, the, the strip there. It's just a bunch of stores, restaurants. Uh, the Greek restaurants uh, down there are amazing. Uh, Hell is Bakery. Uh, um, if you're ever in, I'll, I'll take a video of it. If you're ever in Tarpon Springs, if you ever come down to Florida and you go to Tarpon Springs, uh, Hella's Bakery. There's like three or four or five different Greek restaurants, and there have I I've, I haven't been to all of them. Uh, they're all great, uh, from what I've heard. But it's one of those references. It's like when you go to Philly, people who live in Philly got their personal preferences on who's got the best cheesesteak. And when it comes down to it, it's personal preference when you go to Philly and get it, you know, 
And granted, don't get me wrong. People people swear on who's the best. That oh, Pat's is the best. Um, the Losandros is the best. Uh, Gino's is the best. Gino's is the original. Um, you know, and they're all great. But Tony Luke's was always my spot. Uh, it, it's you know. It, it, Tony Luke's was always my spot for a cheesesteak in Philly, and every time I go back home, that's my spot. But it's to me, it's personal preference. I don't sit there and throw Tony. You know, do I think he's the best in my eyes? Yeah, I love I love Tony Luke's, but that's my personal preference. Um, so with the ba- with the uh, Greek restaurants in uh, Tarpon Springs, Hell is in my eyes is the best. I'm not that. I don't want to sit there and downplay the rest of them. I've never been there, so I can't tell you whether they're good or not. It's just Hellas has always been my go-to. No matter what time of the day you go, excuse me, there's a wait. Uh, you're waiting at least a half hour to be seated, but the service there is amazing. You get sat down, uh, you know, and your server's right there, food, drinks, it, and you're not necessarily in or out. They don't rush you out, but you know, you're not waiting another 40 minutes for your food. You know, you're not waiting another 20 minutes for your server to get up to you and you're not waiting another 30 for your food. Um, they really know what they're doing. They got it down to a science, uh, the chef, they got a bakery, they got a bakery offsite a couple blocks away. They bake all their desserts. It's all fresh desserts, uh, baked fresh. And it's like, I mean, it is amazing guys if you're ever in tarpon springs or ever in the florida area in that area uh even if you're in clearwater it's not a far drive from clearwater maybe like 20 30 minutes uh check it out for real but i'm gonna go down there i'll do a video on the sponge docks even if i can't do the long videos i'll do a couple short videos or i'll just try and go live maybe if i go live it'll let me do it uh longer um because the i don't think the live video will save to my phone so we'll see i'll try and do a live video um, and then when I'll come back home, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just need to get out of the house. I just need to get out and about, blow some stink off. Uh, it's, it's been crazy at work. Um, and then, uh, so I'm already going a little long with this video. I was going to do a, a couple of shout outs, but I think I'm going to do a separate video. Maybe on my way down the tarpon, I might do a separate shout out video. I don't know. There's a, cause there's a couple channels, a couple videos, a couple people I want to shout out. Um, that, that really deserve it. And not just, and even if I don't care if every one of my subscribe, every one of my, the people on my channel are subscribed to them already. They, they just need a shout out, uh, for, for reasons, special reasons. They, they're just, uh, you know, that's, they need it. Um, anyway, I'm going to get out of here, finish my coffee. Uh, my hair, I got my appointment at 11 to get a haircut. Which I'm just it, my hair is too long for me. It's I usually always just have it way shorter than this. Get the beard trimmed up. I think with my beard is I was I would grow a beard like uh, Countryside Russell or like Thomas Elwood Bailey when he had his beard. You know I'd grow one down here. I had one down here, but working at the restaurant it's just or not a restaurant. Working in food service, I'm in the kitchen all day as a supervisor. You know I I just can't grow it. I, I'm really cutting it. I'm really pushing it have in mind like this but i i wear a beard net um anyway hope you all had a great weekend hope you all had a great monday we're past monday it's tuesday i'm off today and tomorrow um uh missed you guys all weekend i gotta get on and catch up some videos and comments and see what's going on with everybody's weekend and uh you know hope you all have a great day love y'all be safe